Pooh Bear plays hide and seek is very sweet and with a nice interactive element, although there is something about it that I didn't think was the best idea. This is the latest vlog or episode in Me and Winnie the Pooh. And it starts off with Winnie showing his new, he calls it a stuffy. I've never heard of soft toys being called stuffies before. I don't know if that's a regional thing, but certainly I've never heard them. Plushies, yes. Stuffies, not so much. But nevertheless, he shows this stuffy, which has a pretty creative design. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but it's certainly very creative. And then he invites the viewer to play hide and seek. And he tells the viewer how to play. And this is the bit that I don't like, because children can take things very literally. And if Pooh Bear is giving them instructions on how to play, and if a grown-up tries to play it differently, some children may not like that. And Pooh Bear explains that when you play, you have to count to five. And my immediate thought was, that's not long enough. There is no way that if you're seeking, you count to five, because that doesn't give hiders anywhere near enough time to go and hide. And I can imagine some young children trying to play this, maybe for the first time with their parents or a sibling, and when the other person tries to seek and they try to count to beyond five, I can imagine the child getting a little bit frustrated because they're not doing it the way Winnie the Pooh said to do it. And obviously Winnie the Pooh is amazing and knows what's right, so we have to do things the way Pooh Bear says. So I thought that was maybe not the smartest. He could have just said, and then you have to count, not stating how many uh, or what you have to count to, and then in an example, count to five. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I do know that some children, not every child, of course, but some children do take things very literally. And if Pooh Bear has said you count to five, then you count to five, no more, no less. So that, I think, was maybe not the best idea. But the five seconds do work very well within the context of the vlog, and the interactive element is when Pooh Bear is hiding, and the viewer, who is playing the role of the seeker, takes a couple of seconds to find Pooh Bear on the screen. And I thought that was quite a nice idea as well, because I can imagine some children interacting with it in that way and calling out when they see Pooh Bear. So that was quite sweet. Very well animated. The pacing is really good. The inclusion of the so-called stuffy was quite random. And I don't know if I love the word stuffy either. I googled stuffy toy. And Google asked me if I meant stuffed toy. So Google's on my side. Do let me know, though, if you do call it a stuffy. Maybe it is just a regional thing that Google is also not aware of. That aside, and the issue with being very literal with counting to five aside, Pooh Bear plays hide and seek is certainly very sweet. Not the best, me and Winnie the Pooh, but certainly not too bad.